IBM Tivoli Storage Flash Copy Manager. What you see here is a vSphere client. A vSphere client is a client from VMware which allows you to manage your virtual environment. In my virtual environment, I have um, a number of ESX servers. vSphere 03 is one of them. On this ESX server, I have a, a number of virtual machines running like development, production, quality assurance, and so on. From here, I can also see the data stores on which these virtual machines are sitting. Now let's go to the home screen of the vSphere client. In here you see a Tivoli Data Protection for VMware Flash Copy Manager user interface. It is programmed as a plugin into vSphere client. So we can open this and you can see that our interface, the Flash Copy Manager interface, runs inside vSphere client. Here you have the same view so you can see the uh, virtual machines and you can also take a look at the data stores. So let's uh, define a backup task now. As you can see we have a wizard here that guides us through the backup. As a schedule name for this uh, particular backup I will choose daily production same as description and I click next now I can actually select the data stores which I would like to protect so I will select uh, one data store here and on the right side you can actually see the virtual machines that are sitting on this data store. So I can now select one or multiple virtual machines. I just uh, check the ones that I want to protect and I click Next. Now I have a couple of options. The Ember does provide a consistent snapshot and here I can decide whether I want to include the memory or whether I want to suspend the virtual machine or whether I do not want to take any actions in, in vSphere. The default is create a VMware snapshot, a consistent snapshot without snapping the memory and that's what I'll choose. And now here I can actually select device classes. Device classes um, in this definition here are disk subsystems. Like in my case, I have a SAN volume controller or a V7000 uh, and um, it is defined as a storage device. I have um, defined a flash copy type. Flash copy manager uses the underlying flash copy technology. So I'm doing uh, space efficient flash copies here and I have selected the no copy option. I can now select a, a schedule. So um, I can go in here and, and set up a complete schedule for my uh, virtual machines. So as you can see we have included a scheduler into the user interface of Flash Copy Manager for VMware. I will choose uh, execute immediately here and I get a summary so I have selected to back up only one virtual machine that sits on one data store and I'm using the, my standard device class which represents a sand volume controller. I click on finish and now I have the ability to monitor this task. So I can say yes and this screen will take me to a active tasks screen where I can see how my flash copy basically progresses. So I can see a date and timestamp and I can also see the various uh, phases where, where flash copy manager is going through to basically create a snapshot 
using flash copy for the data store where this particular virtual machine sits. Now I can go to events and under events I can see that my my current task daily production has finished successfully and actually click on the success message and I get some further information here if that backup would have failed I would uh, see the the problem right right in here um, under the event uh, details so my daily pr uh, production backup was uh, successful now from here I can go to the restore tab and the restore tab picks all the backups automatically that um, I have done for this uh, particular ESX server so in my case that was my production virtual machine and I can click on that production virtual machine and I can select here a restore point so you could have multiple snapshots so you can take for example hourly backups and from here I can decide what I want to do so I can perform a restore or I can attach let's click on attach real quick and have a look um, what the options are under the attach button the options basically are that you can select a drive hard disk one for example that was part of this backup and you can take this virtual disk and attach it to a up and running virtual machine and from there you can restore individual files so flash copy manager does support the restore of individual files through this attachment option here for now I will select a restore a restore will take me to the wizard again and here I can select what I, I want to do I can restore the virtual machine as a whole or I can restore selected virtual disks of this virtual machine keep in mind that we always flash copy on a LUN level so we basically flash copy the whole data store but when it comes to restore we can select individual virtual machines we can even select individual virtual disks so now I can choose whether I want to restore to the original location basically overriding the existing VM or I can also restore to an alternate location restoring to an alternate location means this virtual virtual machine will be recreated and is now available for all sorts of actions so you can log in you can use it you can extract individual files it's just a restore to a different location of the full complete virtual machine in my case here so I can call this a restore production restore production I can uh, select the ESX host to which I want to perform the restore and I can select the data store where I want to put this new virtual machine I will put this in the same data store where the source virtual machine was sitting and now I click next I get a summary this is what's going uh, to happen and now I click on finish and again I can uh, monitor this task and you can see very nicely down here what's going on inside the vSphere environment so all the actions that happen in vSphere are also visible here from the flash copy manager graphical user interface and I can see that my restore number 10 is is progressing and again I can see the phases of flash copy manager where this is uh, going through the window is automatically refreshed and once it's successful I can go to the event screen and from there I can see that my um, restore was successful
our restore is uh, finished now so we can see that it progressed hundred percent right now flash copy manager is in the unmount uh, phases so there's still some tasks that are going on here I can refresh this view by clicking on the refresh button and now it's done and I can go to the event view and in here I can see that my restore was successful I can double click the message again and I can actually see what happened here and from here I can go back to the host and cluster view in vSphere client and what I see here is actually the virtual machine restore production so what happened here is flash copy manager mounted the target volume and has basically copied the original virtual machine and put it back into uh, the, your vSphere uh, environment Switch back to the plugin. Let's have a look under the backup task. All the tasks that we have defined are visible here, and we can run them again if we wish to do so. It's simply done by clicking on uh, Run Now. There are also some reports available. And the reports would show what happened in this particular uh, uh, case. So we had a production backup and we also had a successful restore. There is also a configuration view in here. So you can basically define what how your um, environment looks like. There is one function that we also support which is we can take these snapshots and we can back them up into TSM and in this case you have snapshots on disks and certain snapshots are then being protected inside TSM which basically gives you um, support for keeping data for long term period on tape. Thank you very much for your attention.